Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to make some really interesting organic forms using 3D graphics software such as 3D Studio Max, Blender, whatever you're using, just by using some simple primitives and some edit tools. And you can use these. Um, you can use these in cool scenes such as futuristic or microscopic scenes. Or you, even interesting, more interesting for me is that you can basically make 3D prints of them, such as jewelry or things in, in sculptures and stuff. So I've made a geosphere here, the first one. So I'm going to convert it to editable poly. I'm going to select all the polygons. I'm going to extrude. Um, I'm going to extrude by polygon, and I'm going to extrude out there. I'm not going to deselect these polygons that have extruded. I'm going to insert. And then I will extrude again, and then it, and that makes a spiky ball, and we can extrude inwards, and that makes an interesting seed-like structure. And again, we can use this in a scene, we can multiply it, we can even use it in particle systems. And more interestingly for me is that you can print it out, so you can make it into something for your sculpture, or a really nice piece of jewellery, or even a light. You could have a light inside and it could shine out these holes. But remember, um, that's that can lead to danger, Will Robinson. Um, so you need to check all that um, with lights and plastics and stuff like that. So that's the first one. Let's take that out of the scene. And let's do another one. So I'm going to do a box very quickly. So there's a box. Don't like green. No. Convert it to editable poly. Select all polygons. Extrude by polygon. And it makes a Minecrafty thing. Select all again. Extrude. Whoops. Select all again. Extrude. Select all again, extrude, and so on. And there we go, there's a big blocky thing there. Completely different to this model, but interesting as well. Let's take those out. Let's do one last one in max. Extended primitives. And we go to, where is it? It is, I can never, why can't I find it? Taurus knot. No, I keep saying tourist knot. It's actually Taurus knot. Okay, I don't know what a tourist knot is. I don't really want to either. Let's convert this to editable poly. Select all polygons. Extrude. Extrude um, by polygon. And there you go. That's a very interesting chain mail kind of snake thing. And again, that would look lovely as a 3D print. But again, because it's quite intricate details, you really need to check out the setup of the 3D print in a program such as Cura that I have looked at in other screencasts. And just one more thing. You can use a symmetry modifier or mirror, as it is in other programs, such as Blender. And you can start to make interesting shapes by adding to it on the symmetry or mirror stack, like so. And you can mess around with, is it X, Y, or Z, mirror, axes, and then we can do another symmetry as well, like so. And we can move it up, down, left, right, whatever it's doing, like so. <clears throat> Do another symmetry. Let's really take the stack up. The stack, by the way, is this the amount of modifiers we have in the stack. Okay, let's push that out. Okay, like so. So there you have it. That's the development of the. Oh, look at that! Nice form. And that's the development. Let's quickly go to Blender to show you other programs. We can do exactly the same thing. So add G isosphere, tab, tab, select all, extrude on individual faces, like so, I to insert, 
an E to extrude, well, extrude individual faces, like so. And there you go, you've got a similar model. That's the seed pod thing in 3D Studio Max that you can print out or use in your scenes. So thanks very much for listening to this. I hope it helped. Please feel free to make comments and ask questions. And also subscribe to this YouTube channel. You can also get a free 10-minute Skype trial with me um, if you sign up to my newsletter. And also remember to check out my website, which is www.jamesableart.com for loads of my artwork, tutorials, and chip, not chips, tips. All right, so thanks very much, and I look forward to speaking to you soon on the next screencast that I'll do. Bye for now.